Hello, have you ever needed to copy a color from a web page and use that for your own web page or your blog or whatever you have got online or maybe even in your PowerPoint presentation? Well, you might want to use the color you see and you like it and then you would like to know what is this specific color? What is the RGB code or what is the hex code? And usually it's very difficult to find out what the exact color code is unless you are a developer and you use Google uh, F12 inspections or something like that, where you can see in the CSS code what the exact color is. If you're not that kind of a developer, this tool is for you. Hi, my name is Olaf and I am your tool finder. And today I'm going to talk to you about Eyedropper, which is a really fancy Chrome extension. So already here on the home page of my presentation, we will see uh, three screenshots of what the Chrome extension is. So at first it's, a, it's an eyedropper. You can pick a color from a web page, as you can see over here. And all the colors that I picked are stored in the last, I don't know how many of these are, uh, items in my default palette. And if you click on one of those colors, then you immediately will see what the color is. So the selected one is the one that was on uh, the page. And this is the one that I actually picked last. Um, another option is the color picker, where you can easily pick colors using this palette. And the third image you can see is, for example, when I hover over this bluish color, it will show right down in my screen exactly what the hex color is or what the RGB color is. So that's to start. Now let's dive further into this Chrome extension. So why did I need this in the first place? Well, if you are in the world of online money making, then you are certainly in need of a website, a blog, a Shopify, uh, whatever you are doing. And many times you will need some colors or you would like some colors that you see in a different WordPress theme or on a different web page. And you would like to know what is this color? Well, then this Chrome extension is for you. Um, in my past, I used to develop WordPress websites for clients as well. So when I bought a WordPress theme with, a, let's say a standard color scheme that needed to be adjusted to the colors of the client, for example, the logo colors, the, the style colors, etc. And that's when this extension came in very handy as well. And also when designing PowerPoint presentations like this one, you sometimes uh, will need specific colors or you want a specific color like this, let's say purple over here. And then you could add this purple to your color palette and pick it every time you want this. As said, Eyedropper is a Chrome extension that lets you easily pick colors from websites using Chrome, obviously. And then it will show you the RGB or the hex code and you can use this for your own projects. And with one click, you can uh, pick the color, choose the color, and it will be immediately copied to the clipboard for further use. Easy as that, there's nothing much to it. So what are the features? Well, you can pick colors from web pages, obviously. You can pick them from the color picker that is built inside. You can pick them from the history. So the last, I don't know, 100 colors you ever picked are in your history. Or you can create a default palette that you can use for your own style guide. And the colors that you are picking or are selecting will be automatically be copied to the clipboard for further use. Also, there are some settings in Eyedropper, as you can see over here. So for example, automatically copy the pick color to the clipboard and all kinds of other options that are usually default as they should be. But if you want, you can change those settings. Well, the benefits of the eyedropper are obviously that it's very easy to use and it's a huge time saver. No more guessing colors, no more trying to find out the CSS or trying to uh, inspect the whole web page to see what color has been used. Just click on the eyedropper and point to the color that you want and it will be copied to the clipboard. Um, Another huge time saver is that you can pick your favorites from the palette that is built in. So for example, I use the background 
white smoke a lot as you can see here and I use this purple a lot so I added those two to my palette to use anytime I need them and of course it's very important that this Chrome extension is free if we go to the reviews you can see that it gets a four star review for uh, the Chrome extension as well as the Firefox extension uh, which is available as well so if you are using Firefox then you can use this color pick eyedropper as well and you can see that almost a million users are using this so it's, it's a very robust and great Chrome extension to use especially when designing web pages or blogs but obviously as usual let's have a look at the tool itself to see how this works in practice so here is the tool, the Chrome extension, as you can see, and I already installed it. So let's have a look at how this works. So it will end up here in your Chrome extensions bar. And from that, you can just click on it and it will appear. And as you can see, the last color I used was white smoke with this hex code. Uh, but if I, for example, like this color of green to use, I would go and pick it and just point with my mouse to it. And you can see on the right hand corner below that it will show the code in RGB and hex as well. So I cannot show it with my mouse because then it will disappear, as you can see, but it's over here. Now it's black, but if you go there, it's green or it will be bluish or gray or yellow, depending on where you are pointing with your mouse. And if I click on it, it will be automatically be saved uh, to my clipboard, as I can show you over here. So actually, that is one of the, uh, the functionalities. The other one is that there is a built-in color picker, so you can just go like this and then use it and the other one is that this is my default palette so all my choices my last colors are over here and I can save it or trash it or export it to CSV as well so actually this is all there is to it nothing more nothing less it's very easy very straightforward just add it to Chrome and you will use it a lot of times, I'm, I'm sure of it. All right, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.